was outside the skull. And they called it a posterior encephalocele, and he could see her skull and where it was open and, and where her brain began to grow outside of her head and the person was outside, um, our heart sank. And so I remember the tears just start to trickle, you know, down my face. And the same day, you're so excited, and then you just get hit. And I remember my husband saying, well, what are the chances of, of her surviving? What are the chances that she's going to make it through this? And he said, in my 30-year profession, I've never seen a case like this make it to birth. And I think I asked again, like, okay, so there's a percentage. Give me a percentage. And he's like, none. The doctor recommended they abort Zoe. Sandy and Shane decided otherwise. We're not going to do it. We serve too big of a God. Life, whether it's in the womb for nine months or eight months, it's life. And, and it's life that it's not ours to take away. And so we began to talk and we began just to share scriptures. We really believe that that uh, Zoe means life. And we believe the enemy come to try to steal and try to take her potential, to take her life. And we're going to believe what God's word says and that children are a blessing of the Lord. We had to have faith that God loves her even more than me and my wife combined, that he loves her more than we do. And so we put our faith and confidence in him despite of what we felt, despite of what the doctor's opinion was or what his thoughts were. And so uh, that to us was the most critical time, I believe, because that was the time we came together and just made a decision. For months, they held on to hope and prayed for a miracle. Faith is the one thing that pleases God. And so our part is just simply to believe. Our part isn't to perform the miracle. There's nothing that we could do. There's nothing that the doctors could do. Remember what God spoke to me six weeks along? He knew her name would be Zoe for a reason. He knew that she would have life. He knew the outcome before we even knew the diagnosis or the problem. He knew everything that was going to happen. And so we clung on to the fact that we knew what God had spoke, that he said she would have the God kind of life. And the God kind of life is joy and peace and life. And so I hung on to that word very tightly. Despite all odds, Zoe made it to term. During delivery, once more, their faith was put to the test. The first thing that I saw for Zoe, what I saw her was her, was her brain, was her, I mean, there, there was no skull in the back of her head. It was, and so for me, um, that was really hard. I, I, I didn't know she'd make it. I just remember. Looking in that little incubator. And she lifted her little head. And I just knew you're gonna be fine. And I didn't question in that moment whether she would continue to live, what would happen. Just lifting up her little head and she was so perfect to me and so tiny. And they had everything bandaged and covered, but I just knew God has huge plans for you. And I didn't know what it would be, everything that would happen in her life, but I knew she was the most beautiful baby I had ever laid my eyes on. And I couldn't wait to just pick her up and to hold her. Two days later, Zoe had surgery to remove brain matter and close the hole in her skull. And just five days later, she was released from the hospital. Shane and Sandy say God continued to answer prayers and provide healing and life beyond what anyone thought possible. Zoe absolutely is a blessing. She is one of the biggest joys of my life. She's nine years old today. She's full of life. She is full of energy. I thank God that that we chose to believe and the people that we had surrounding us were people of faith. What a miracle she is and a testament of God's faithfulness and his goodness. 
What he says is true and his word is true and he's not going to set you up for failure. Every day I'm healed and that's all my story. He's a good God. He wants to show himself big. He wants to do huge things. He's just looking for people who are willing to say, I trust you. We hope that you can say that in the midst of your circumstance today, whatever it might be, whatever your need is, we want to stand with you in that.